Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the Vachasa Neura Hackathon 2025 exact coding question, what is the recent coding question and in some of a coding session only one programming language is supported. So we are going to discuss about that and one more thing is so who have attended exam on uh, 14th October we have the question screenshot we are going to discuss about that also. Let us look at the pattern. If we see the pattern, we can find the each session. In the each session, there will be a separate durations, and we can skip the questions in between the sessions. So one more thing is you can pass the test. Like it is a four hours of test, you can pass in the coding round. There is an option known as pass in the assessment. You can pass, and after ten minutes, you can pass and resume the assessment. Let's look at the first section which is the analytical reasoning. So we have the live recording for some of our sections. So we also see that in this video. Next if we see the analytical reasoning it is completely based on diagram based and letter series and number series based. So the questions are 10 questions. You need you have the 12 minute duration to solve this uh, section and the marks will be 10 marks. If we analyze the difficulty level of this questions, it is very easy level and the students say that it is easy to manage. Let us discuss the screenshot of this question. It is based on question mark. We have to analyze the previous chapter and we have to answer based on that. So the next question is based on a figure base like we have to analyze the previous question pattern and we have to choose the options. So next going to the question, it is a code language question. Based on the given codes, we need to choose our options. These are very easy level questions. You can easily answer this. So the next question is based on letter series. We have to analyze the pattern of the each letters and we need to guess the last pattern. Next, it is based on coding and decoding aptitude questions. Uh, if we know this kind of questions, you can easily crack this uh, section. Let us discuss about the second section which is the numerical part. We have the 10 marks for the session and the duration for the session is 12 minutes and the questions are from easy level. Most students have said that it is very basic questions from the sessions. So we have the live recording for the session. We are going to see that. If we see this questions, we can see that it is based on discount and unit digit and it is based on number of selections, probability and time based questions and how many ways and group of boys and girls and find the numbers and the repetition from the digits and also unit digit. Let us discuss about the third session which is the verbal part. The questions levels are from the easy to medium level. So the questions is based on complete the sentence and it is completely based on grammar. We have the live recording for this session. We also see that. Let's discuss the type of question. It is based on sentence arrangement. Next question is based on synonyms. We have to find the appropriate word. Next fill in the blanks. Next rearrange the sentence. Again the same questions. Fill in the blanks. We need to find the appropriate appropriate word next antonym and again the rearrange statements in this video display questions will be shared wait till the end of a video i will share how to grab this pdf with the answer so let us discuss the four session with this the reading part they will give the passages you need to read the passages and answer the questions the number of question is 10 questions and the duration for this section is 10 minutes the questions are from easy to medium level so one more important thing is here the reading part have the lot of passages you need lot of time in one minute you cannot read all the passages so note down this and manage your time wisely in the session let us look at the questions and we will discuss so if you find any questions in the question uh, search the related word based on the question so, so you can easily find answer for this uh, passage reading let us discuss the section 5 which is the writing part in the writing part we have the question based on the topic so they are going to provide some topic and we have to write based on that. So this is the writing part of the section 5. So the number of question is going to be only one question and the duration for this one question is 15 minutes. So you have enough time to write this topic based on the given. So if we say that recent topic is based on self-development, you can write 250 to 220 word count. Give 
real life example conclusions and real scenarios this is the writing part next let us discuss the section 6 which is the technical writing it is the important part because it have high mark weightage so there will be a 50 questions and the duration for this section is 50 minutes and the questions are range from easy to medium level the questions will be based on data structures and like based on algorithms and for the SQL it is based on queries and they will ask questions based on provide query and they will ask which is the correct one they will provide coding questions in C, C++ and Java and we need to guess the output of the given coding questions like what number of series they are going to get in the given codings so these are the questions we are going to get in the coding part next coming to the pseudocode if you take pseudocode it is very easy level it is completely based on operators so you can refer the operator based questions if you are preparing for this vachosa let us discuss the section 7 which is the coding part there will be a three questions to solve and the enough duration for this section is 90 minutes so I will discuss the what is the level of a questions easy or medium the questions will be based on functions and uh, try catch expressions they also instruct you to use the try and catch blocks to catch the expression and show the output so this is the level of the questions and if possibly most people could solve total three questions for the sessions one more main thing is no function is provided like there will be an empty compiler you need to write everything like you need to add the main functions what are the functions that is needed for your program so let us discuss the most important thing like first coding question is only going to support like C, C++, Python and Java other coding questions for the power coding and other two questions in the coding session only support java 11 they enabled only java 11 for the 2 and 3 and power coding and for only the first question they are giving option to select languages to code so this is the important thing i like to share to you let us discuss the first question it is based on find the perfect number the question is very easy so you can easily write a program according to your preferred language and for this questions only I said that Java, C, C++, Python is supported. They will provide two sample test cases. There will be a total six test cases to need to pass and the second question is based on additions and we, use the, we should use the methods and encapsulations to find our answer. So the last third question is based on try catch expressions. We have to show the expression based on the result they have provided let's discuss the last session which is the power coding i will tell you important tips if you follow that you can easily crack this power coding there will be a two coding questions based on the 14th october analysis the first question is very harder at least 60 line of code we need to write within the 60 minutes and coming to the second question it is based on very medium level so you can easily solve that so first analyze which is easy and which is hard and do the coding according to your profile for answer let us discuss the coding question for the power coding which is asked in the 14th October single file programming language we have to write the program to validate the email address and display the suitable expressions they provide the expressions in different types we have to observe that and we need to provide our output according to the expression next let us discuss the second coding question it is the manage inventory item they will provide a class which is the item type and the private attribute like a name deposit and cost per day we have to create a array list in the main class and need to store the item types that is given so based on the input and output format we have to write according to that in this question only they have given the main functions for the last question in the power coding so note down this let us discuss the test cases test cases there will be a two sample test cases total test cases for the each question we need to pass each six test cases if you run a code this is how the compilation will get successful we have to compile and run to check the code and we need to click on the submit button to submit the code the most important tip is for a coding try to first analyze the easy coding and first complete that next move on to the hard questions 
so it will be easy to complete next coming to the network if you are having the 5g network it is not an issue if you are using any 4g network try to add more data because it is taking lot of network while attending your test so we came to the end of a video here i am going to say in one important thing is i am going to post all this question screenshot in our telegram group the group link will be in the description you will find answer plus question in that subscribe to our channel we will daily post the analyze patterns of the each day for virtuosa if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing us we'll see you in the next video do like this video it will uh, reach to many students thanks for watching have a good day all the best for your assessment